Hi and welcome to Dave Barlow Guitar and in this video I'm going to be discussing uh, purchase of a second hand guitar. Thing is, loads of videos on YouTube you know, go on about how, what you should look for when you buy a guitar and what you should check and what you shouldn't check and all these other things. This video is not about that. This video is about what you do when your guitar lands on your doorstep and you open the box up and you have a look inside what things do you need to look out for uh, before you, I don't know, put this guitar to work or start start using it regularly? What do you need to do? What do you need to check? Here we go. So, um, okay, we're in the workshop. Uh, guitar has arrived uh, in a case, which is always good. Let's have a look what we got. Obviously, I've already unboxed it. There we go. Let's have a quick look at it. This is uh, this is I, I purchased this guitar secondhand on eBay. Uh, this is an LTD EC three three one. Where's the where's the model? FR. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Comments below. Yeah, EC one thousand is the way to go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, yeah, I know. I, I don't need to spend that kind of money on on this kind of guitar. Also, they're really hard to find with trems on, uh, and the ones that I did find had like the translucent finish, which I don't like. Um, I just wanted a black guitar with with cream or a white binding. That's what I wanted, and I wanted a Les Paul shaped guitar with a trem on it. Uh, and in this instance, I wanted twenty four frets because I just need a little bit more access access to the dusty end, uh, a little bit easier access to the dusty end because I do a lot more. Uh, dusty end workouts with my fingers with the band with my main band which is ransom so um and i and i wasn't getting that with the evh i was struggling uh, i'm getting old uh, and i need to make my life as easy as absolutely possible so um that's the reason why i bought this problem is uh, uh there's loads, like there's some things i'm going to customize with this and that'll be perhaps in another video but we need to go through the things uh that you need to go through when you buy a second hand guitar um, to make sure that you know what you've purchased is is what um, uh, was discussed in the agreement way before you purchased it so we need to make sure everything works so what do we do um, so here we go uh, I'm uh, I'm gonna put my phone down somewhere where it's a bit more stable and I'm going to show you uh, what I do to check a guitar uh, to make sure we haven't bought a duff one simple as that here we go so uh, the first things we're going to look for is um, just make sure everything's screwed down. Everything that's got a screw or a bolt on it, make sure it's all tight. That's the first thing you need to do. Uh, don't worry about what it looks like for a minute. That's what you need to do. Obviously, you know, check for scratches and stuff. Um, it's pretty obvious. Um, I noticed on this that the, uh, the input jack is loose. It's something we're going to have to sort out. The uh, knobs are on okay. Nothing's about to fall off. On close inspection to this guitar, actually, I've noticed that um, it doesn't look like it's been played much, if at all. It's got a couple of light scratches there where, I don't know what's happened there, maybe that. Uh, but yeah, other than that, looks okay. Everything's screwed on, make sure everything's screwed down. I've already said that, I'm repeating myself. Uh, next thing to do is plug, the, just plug it in. Plug it in. Make sure that um, every position and the knobs aren't scratchy. These knobs here, make sure they're not scratchy. If they are, you clean them with switch cleaner. If they're not, you don't have to touch them. Every position is good on this guitar. So far, so good. Next thing you need to check is the truss rod. Make sure that's not been all gnarled up or, or, or messed with. Um, second hand guitars. Uh, one of the reasons people sell it because they can't set it up properly the way they want them because they've messed around with a, with a truss rod or something similar and they've messed it up. Especially on these guitars, these the, the, the cheaper brands or 
it's cheaper kind of brand guitars um, because they're just not made so well. For example, this is a 4mm hex uh, or Allen key uh, fit in here uh, and it's not a very good fit. In fact, it's, it's, it's fairly loose for a 4mm. It's not a 4.5mm, it's not a it's not a four mil. It's not a three sixteenths. It's it just it's just the nature of the beast. They're just shit components sometimes. But so if you're really careful, you're all right though. So anyway, uh, a four mil hex wrench it is. So uh, the next thing, once you've made sure that's not all messed up, uh, you need to get a wrench in there. In this case, four mil, and just make sure, make sure that it moves freely. Okay. Uh, really important, really important, because if you can't move the truss rod, it's going to take some work. If it's stiff, three and one oil, something similar, just drop it down there, leave it there for a couple of hours, and then try and twiddle it again. But basically, um, that's that. Now this guitar, obviously, isn't set up correctly, and that's not really part of this video. That will be part of the next video that I'm going to do. Um, whether it's, you know, whether it's uh, going to be a part two or not, I don't know how I'm going to do the videos yet, and I'm working it out as I go along, as I always do. But that's the main things I would be looking for. Obviously, you just need to make sure that everything on the guitar is working exactly the way it should do. Um, along, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll have a look at the trem uh, next. Make sure that 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 uh, that's working correctly. There's a, a couple of things you can look for on the trem. So, um, so yeah, so I'm happy with that. The tuners we'll get to because we need to. We'll do the tuners with a trim, uh, and we'll run run with that next. Right, we're at the nut now of the trim, and on on these, make sure. Right, because you get this sometimes. Make sure these aren't threaded. Make sure they do up. Not super tight, but firm. If that's the case, you know you're alright. I've already tested these, and these are good. Also, make sure all these work. They don't feel all notchy and horrible and crappy, because that's not what you paid for. Even though they don't do much in terms of uh, keeping the uh, tuning stable with a Floyd Rose equipped guitar, uh, they still need to work properly. So make sure every all the screws are screwing in, make sure all these are working correctly. Let's go down to the other side. Same with these, these here. Make sure that you can you can do these up tight because these threads get damaged and they get they get threaded basically. And what somebody will do is they go, oh, fuck that. And what they'll do is they'll just they'll just hide it by just tightening up, just tight enough to keep that string going. But when you start doing pullbacks and uh, that string pops out, that's going to really piss you off. Um, so yeah, you got to look out for all these things. The other thing is uh, with pickups as well. That's the other thing. Make sure all these are screwed down, nice and tight, and they, they don't just turn around, and around, and around. Because that's a repair job. If it is, same with uh, same with the the the, the pickups, the, the pickup uh, adjustment. Usually, there you don't have any problem with them. I've not come across anything like that yet. Uh, the other thing is to make sure that you know these don't all pop off. Uh, so that's that what you can see the other thing is at the moment we don't want to be checking the the the, the neck the straightness of the neck or anything like that yet we're not got to that yet because we need to start setting the guitar up this guitar came with a half-hearted setup um, uh, and that's me being nice um, so yeah it's not this guitar is not set up correctly at all um, for any type of plan so I suppose the next thing we need to do is we need to flip the guitar over and we need to have a look uh, in the cavity uh, where the pots are to make sure uh, no one's gone in there and done some modifications or some shit soldering jobs or whatever it is that people do. I have no idea why people play around with stuff um, without any prior knowledge of how, uh, how a, a, a soldering iron works, but people do. Uh, I've seen all sorts uh, in cavities. I've seen wires twisted together by hand. I've seen them uh, with uh, with connectors, uh, like you know, what you. I oh, don't even go there, right? So you'd be surprised um, what 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 you might see in here. So always best to check. If you um, if you have a look here, this is the uh, battery compartment because this uh, guitar has active pickups in. Uh, anybody who knows me. Uh, those are not really interactive pickups, so these will be changed. But no, anyway, that's not that's another video. 
So what can you see here? You can see that there's a little bit of paint been chipped there. And I'll tell you why that is. I know exactly why that is there. Uh, and I'll tell you how to avoid it. What happens is when someone changes the battery or they want to check the battery, they'll undo that screw, then they'll undo that screw, and then they'll find they can't get this plastic cover off. So what they do is they'll get a screwdriver and they'll ram it in there and they'll tweak it off. And it chips the paint. Uh, you don't need to do that. Um, I suppose loads of people got loads of ways of doing things, but this is how I do it. I use, I got this like pointy tool and I just put it in a hole like this and I just flip it up. Let me see if I can do this one handed. This is quite tough, but it's gonna come. Let me just put the phone down. There you go. So yeah, I mean, quite tough to get off, but persevere. And that's why there's a chip in there. But this all looks good. This all looks nice and tidy. It's a shame I'm going to have to rip it all out. But um, that's the way it is. Can't have access for electronics in my guitars, unfortunately. Can't do that. So, yeah, we're going to pull all that out. Uh, anyway, but anyway, all looks good. Doesn't look like it's been fiddled around with. I'm quite lucky, really, because um, it's, it's, I'd say, it looks like a, a, a nearly new guitar. Perhaps it was. Uh, perhaps it, it did come from a guitar shop, I believe. Um, although it wasn't totally clear on eBay that it did come from a shop, but uh, the the uh, the the return address was 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 a, a music shop. So maybe it's uh, it was sitting out sitting out there. Maybe it was their testing model or something. Uh, B stock. I don't know. Whatever it is, but it sold as second hand. So I got lucky there. But uh, yeah, definitely. Um, Definitely not been played around with there. Yeah, however, um, this is look, the input input jack is loose. Um, when I fix that in another video, I'll show you how to do that uh, so it never ever comes undone ever again. Unless you want it to, of course. Um, that's that. What else are we going to do? Should we have a look at we have a look at the back of the trim? Yeah, let's do that. Okay, that's all the covers off now. Um, that battery compartment cover was difficult to get off. I'll give you that. Um, it was really stuck in there, hence why uh, they've had to get a screwdriver in there and pull it out. Well, you don't have to do that. I'll show you how to do it. Uh, you just persevere with the tool that I showed you to use and how to use it. The, um, the, the toggle switch, that's okay. Everything looks good. Everything looks good here. Um, the trim block is not a very good trim block. What is this trim? This is a... Um, a Floyd Rose special. Okay, so um, yeah, um, it's not the greatest trim block in the world. Probably swap that out for a brass one. But yeah, other than that, I'm happy. I've gone through all this guitar. I showed you what I think. Um, to some people, this is obvious. Um, to other people, perhaps not so. But yeah, I'm happy with that. And put it all together. Well, I'm not going to put it back together again. Um, I'm going to do some modifications on this guitar to make it my own and uh, that'll be another video for another time